First of all, thank you for all coming out tonight. And we'd like to start off with Gus Hayes singing the Irish and the American National Anthem. Gus. Sheena Fina a Shanti Roshin Chafasta Nyokfa Fenti Ron no Fentro Anok de Hain Sabanabuel Legan or Gwell Con Bosch New Sail Legan Ishkrek Felok Nabile Shalif Kanik Aron Naveen Oh, see, can you see By the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free Gus. Now I'd like to bring up Pastor from St. Mark's to give us the invocation, the opening prayer. Pastor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. It was to a hurting community, people carrying their own private personal pain and a communal ache that St. Paul wrote these words of consolation, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the source of all mercy, the God of all consolation. He comforts us in all our sorrows so that we can comfort others in their sorrow with the consolation we ourselves have first received from God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. God of consolation, comfort, and mercy. We thank you for the gift of your love and your life that have sustained us, sustained this hurting family, this hurting community through the months and will sustain us through the years. Pour out your spirit upon us. Be present with your love that life might triumph over death, hope over despair, faith over doubt. Be present and let your blessing pour out upon us. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Now I'd like to bring up the uh, City Council President, uh, Liam McLaughlin, for a few words. Liam, thank you. Thank you, Dennis. Um, you know, there are a lot of events that we go to as elected officials. Uh, some are very easy to speak at, and some are much more difficult uh, just by their very nature. Uh, today is, is certainly one of the difficult ones. Uh, we are here today uh, out of a tragic, tragic accident, uh, one that shook all of us to our very core, 
Uh, as I look around this crowd today, uh, I, I don't want to say everyone, but it seems like almost everybody was here that night. Um, and the community all felt uh, the same sense of pain, uh, the same horror the, 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 of the parents' worst nightmare. Um, we all prayed together. Uh, we prayed uh, for the Gill family, for Kaylee, uh, of course for her sister, uh, Lindsay, to, uh, to heal. And some of those prayers were answered. Um, but as we stand here today, uh, we just wanted to come together and to let the Gill family know that we are with you. Um, we still feel uh, Kaylee's presence, and uh, we want to make sure that Yonkers uh, is forever. You're, you're, you're a part of Yonkers' adopted family, um, and Kaylee will never be forgotten. And that's what this memorial is, is here to signify today. So thank you all for, for being here, for being with the family, uh, for being part of the greater uh, Yonkers family. Uh, we come out in good times and in bad, and uh, we stick together through thick and thin. And today is one of those times that we want to remember uh, the beautiful uh, life that was uh, tragically ended way too early. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Liam. And now we'd like to have the mayor of Yonkers, Mayor Mike Spano. Mike. Thank you, and uh, it is, uh, it's, uh, just like the council president said, these are, um, this is not, there's some events that are just a lot more difficult to be at, and certainly to be here with the Gill family at a moment when you are um, thinking about the life of, of young Kaylee and how it was tragically taken from us all too early. And... We have to remember that today is a day where we're going to celebrate the life of Kaylee. We're going to think about the moments where she has made us all smile, which I know that many of you all and each and every one of you have in your heart, because she'll live together and live in your heart forever. Um, but this is hard to fathom for any parent. And the Gill family goes through this each and every day. Um, tonight, we're humbled to be in your presence, to be here with you. And as a Yonkers family, we are together with you. Our families express their love uh, for your family. We express our love for one another by showing up and being a part of this event here today. Um, to the families that are here tonight, you're showing your love for Kaylee and for the Gill family and for the Yonkers family. What happened is an unthinkable tragedy one that many, I don't think any of us can comprehend and you know what I know because I um, I'm a Christian I know that we'll all be together again and maybe God will explain to us um, what happened and why it happened um, but I know that uh, at least my hope is that this memorial offers some comfort to the Gill family uh, to Kaylee's friends at St. Barnabas, and to all new, who knew her and loved her. You'll always have a place here to visit so you can remember and celebrate her life. And on behalf of the people of our great city, we share today with you. God bless you. Thank you, thank you Mayor. Um, on part of my program, it said, um, mention the dignitaries. And I just wanted to mention, I understand that the General Counsel of Ireland, or Barbara Jones, is here. And Barbara, if you do, hi, Barbara. Would you want to come up and say a couple of words? Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for the opportunity to be part of a very important occasion for the whole community here in New York and in this community in particular. I want to pay tribute and to thank very especially on behalf of the Irish government and the community itself, the leadership which the, the whole community has given in supporting the Gill family right throughout what is an unspeakable tragedy, um, a, a, a nightmare that any mother, I have three children myself, would, would not want to go through. So that unites us all. I want to pay tribute to the community for honouring the memory of this beautiful young Irish woman who joined this family and was so happy here. And I, want, I think you're a model of decency in honouring her memory. I think it sets a very high standard for the rest 
of our community right across the United States. I know that I'm looking around here, I see great leaders in the religious community, in the political community and in the Irish organisations and I know you've all come together to be part of this and I feel very privileged to be here to say to you, Karamila Mahogut Galair, thank you for honouring this young woman. It is a support for us in the darkest times to have our friends and our community with us and I hope, I would say to the Gill family, I hope that that gives you some solace as we honour the memory of your beautiful daughter. Thank you very much to this community for honouring this young woman. There are people today in Ireland who are similarly on the hard journey that the Gill family have gone, who've lost their they're a li little bit older in a terrible tragedy in, in Berkeley, in California. And I know that the leadership we're giving here today shows that we will not forget our brilliant young people who lose their lives in the United States. And we applaud the family here in the United States for, for honouring them and for being with the Irish families in these hard times. So thank you very much. Thank you, Barbara. Uh, it said to mention dignitaries, but um, in, in my district, the only dignitaries is the Gill family that is here. Um, it's hard even to begin to think about what has taken place that we lost such a beautiful girl and such, you know, a senseless act. And we stand there, and I say to myself, I was pondering, what do I say here? What do I stand up and, and tell people? And the only thing I can tell the Gill family and Jamie and Lindsay is that... God wanted an angel. He wanted an angel, and he and he got one in Kelly. So God got a little selfish. He wanted another angel in heaven, and, and that's what he got. Um, this is never done without anybody contributing to what this is all about. Um, I was thinking about Kelly, and I said, what, what, "Why does an act like this happen in life?" You know, and the only lesson we can really take from this is your loved ones you have now at home love them a little more love them because you never ever know what tomorrow brings and you really don't so go home tonight if you walk away from here and you whatever you do in your daily life hug your children your mother your father whoever means that much to you that's the important thing that's what you should take away from here so Kelly is an angel up in heaven and I would just like to go through a couple of people that really supported me uh, going through this. First of all, uh, Mayor Mike Spano. When I, when I came to Mike about this, and he was just 100% behind this, supported this right from the beginning because he knew it was the right thing to do. My city council members are here. The, the same thing, you know, that the support, I got that. But this doesn't happen alone. The monument that we're going to bring up and unveil in a few minutes, Samuel Cochran, I went to them, and the gentleman said, what can I do? What can I do to, you know, make this a little easier on the family. The fence that was put up was SNC contracting. They put that fence up for me. The traffic department with the sign, they put the sign up for me. Uh, a special kudos goes to the parks department because I saw these guys here and I was annoying and I'm good at that. But I wanted it the right way and they kept coming back and they fixed it and I really special kudos to Steve Sansone who was here constantly saying, are you happy with this councilman? Are you satisfied with it? And Steve, I am. But most of all, it goes to the Gill family. You know, we, we wonder, you know, why does something like this happen? And there's no explanation, but there's a God. And as the mayor said, someday, Kelly just, she just led the way. Because we'll all be there someday. We'll all meet with her again in heaven. And right now she's looking down on your family and you should be honored and blessed that this many people came out to honor your daughter because she truly is an angel in heaven. And I thank you. Now I'd like to have the Gill family come up and we'll do the unveiling and then we'll have um, the mother and father speak. So if Jamie and uh, Lindsay want to come forward and do the unveiling. Father, uh, Barry is going to, Monsignor Barry just promoted him, I'm sorry, Father. If you do the blessing for the monument, I'd appreciate that. Thank you. 
In your compassion, Lord, we beseech your blessing upon this touching, beautiful monument dedicated to the memory and the life of Kelly Gill. While Kelly's soul has gone to her place of salvation, may this place, this monument, be a constant reminder of the support and love this community has given to Karen and Damien, to Jamie, and to Lindsay, and especially all of her other families, friends, and schoolmates. And so having taken her place in the ranks of the blessed, may this place point to the sacred hope we all have to be reunited in eternity, where we will never say goodbye to love again, but sing an eternal hello to the praise of God who loves us. I'll ask my uh, brother clergyman to come forward and share in the blessing too. Thank you. And now if Karen and Damien like to come forward and speak. Thank you. Um, we would like to start with a big thank you to all who participated. Sorry. Who participated in the making of this beautiful and angelic monument In honor of our beloved daughter and sister, Kaylee Louise Gill. We would like to give a special thank you to Mayor Mike Spano, Yonker City Council President Liam O'Dotlin, Councilman Dennis Shepherd, Board Member Henry Jambalai, Yonkers Parks Department, Medellin Avenue Merchants Association, to Coin Park, to the City Parks Deputy Councillor Steve Simasone, Barbara Jones, Council General of Ireland, musicians, the singers, Yonkers Police Department, commissioners and deputies, whom have all worked hard at making of this special mem memorial happen today. We are forever grateful to you all. Thank you to Monsignor Barry, to Father Garmley and all the other clergy here today to bless this beautiful monument. We would like to thank our wonderful family who have given us so much love and support, which was much needed and who still is today. And we'd like to thank our cousins, relations and friends for being here today to share this special day with us in Kaylee's memory. They have been there through good times and in hard times. To Kaylee's amazing friends, Kylie, Michaela and Tara, who have always been in contact with each other, with each other, even in the six years separation. They have been friends from kindergarten and when we returned from Ireland, they have grown closer and celebrated Kaylee's 15th birthday with her, which you will always have happy memories of. And when Kaylee enrolled in St. Barnabas High School, her friends were there to help her along with the guidance of Sister Joan, who took Kaylee under her wing and took care of her with the help of all the staff of St. Barnabas, in particular, one teacher, Mr. D. Noble. He was one of Kaylee's top 10 heroes. As Kaylee put it, he is the best teacher in the world and he always brightened up my day. We thank you all. Last but not be, by no means least, to Kaylee's sisters, Jamie and Lindsay, who always have a special bond that will never be broken. Kaylee always looked up to big sister Jamie for advice and to confide in her any fears or worries she may have. And in teenage years, 
for tips on makeup, hair and style. Jamie is always there. But when Lindsay was born, Jamie and Kaylee came to visit their newborn sister in Our Lady of Mercy. And Kaylee, then age two, seeing me holding Lindsay in my arms, she turned to Jamie with an anxious eye, inquiring, when's that baby going? <laughs> well, that baby and her sister Kaylee had an inseparable bond and everything that was done on a daily basis, they did together. That showed the unconditional love and respect they had for each other. We now know that Kaylee is in heaven with her grandparents and her cousin Thurlock, where there is everlasting peace, love and happiness. You will never be forgotten, Kaylee. You will always have a special place in our hearts. And we thank God that you were part of our family for 15 amazing years. This memorial represents how much Kaylee is loved and always, will always be part of this community. Thank you all for your support, prayers, and for being here today with us. I will finish with a poem that means a lot to me. Don't think of her as gone away. Her journey's just begun. Life holds so many facets. This earth is only one. Just think of her as resting from the sorrows and the tears in a place of warmth and comfort where there are no days and years. Think how she must be wishing that we could know today how nothing but our sadness can really pass away. And think of her as living in the hearts of those she touched, for nothing love is ever lost, and she was loved so much. Thank you. touched on thanking most people involved in this amazing evening. Um, I'd just like to say uh, thanks to everyone involved in making Kaylee's memorial happen. Also thanks to Monsignor Barry and Pastor Bowler for the prayers this evening. We would always like to th we'd also like to thank Kaylee's schoolmates in St Barnabas and Ballamore Community School in Leitrim for organising basketball tournaments in memory of Kaylee. Also to Shannon Gales Football Club, who went back to her home parish in Fina to play a tournament and present a lovely, a lovely cup that will be presented to the Leitrim Under-16 Girls Cup Club Champions every year. To Kayleigh's close friends, Tara, Michaela and Kylie, who put their money together for an Irish dancing trophy for their best friend. On the night of the accident, I never got a chance really to speak about this since, but I'd really like to thank the Yonkers Police Department and the Yonkers Firefighters who played a big part in Lindsay being here with us today. And of course, the great medical staff at Jacoby Hospital. On behalf of myself, Karen, Jamie and Lindsay, until we meet again, Kelly, we will always love you and miss you so much. Thanks to everyone for turning out this evening. Thank you. This is a song that I wrote for Kaylee. Uh, I had the honor of singing at her funeral, and uh, I know she's a wonderful person. She touched my heart, and it's a beautiful ceremony today, so here we go.
will see you in time When the dark turns to light And our souls meet again I'd forgotten, I had apologized. As you notice, the sign that we posted up here, and we'd like to present uh, the Kelly family with, it, with the sign, the Damien and Karen. So if you can come up, we'd like to present the sign to you. Thank you very much. You got it. Thank you. That concludes the, um, the ceremony, and I just want to say, um, Damien and Karen, thanks for that extraordinary courage. Unbelievable that a parent can stand there and talk about this child. God bless you, brother.